So what would you say the best thing was for you? What was your favourite part of coming? The tasting. The tasting. <laughs> it was one of my favourite school trips. When I went to the pizza place, I really liked making the dough. Where we, where we got to make the pasta and we, we got to crack the eggs and mix it up in the bowl. And what was, your, what was the best part for you? Uh, eating. Eating. <laughs> And I loved it so much, and I, and I really wanted to come back again. Oh, you will do, definitely. We'll arrange something for next year. I have been reading their reports that their teacher had written this year, and so many of them, I would say the majority of those 450 children that have been um, to Mercato, all said that it was the best thing that they'd done this year, and it was their favourite memory of the year, and they, they loved it. And, and how places like Mercato can have an educational and community role. And I think that's been very powerful. So I know that our families are actually visiting Mercato in a way that they weren't before. I think we've had um, each class has visited at least once. And what we noticed when the children um, visited Mercato, the process of actually cooking your own food made dishes that we thought children wouldn't eat suddenly delicious. And children were... And much more willing to, to try things and then when they tried them sort of loved them in a way that they won't try food at school. I'm in quite a privileged position in that I get to speak to the children from reception all the way up to year six and every single child I have spoken to about the pastor workshops has been amazed by the experience, they've said to me, oh, Mrs. Janwa, was that something you organised? Thank you so much, thank you, it was incredible. It has been really special. Uh, so the Cooking Collective uh, we devised with Mercato, a partnership with Mercato, a four-week pilot. Um, and the reason we devised the, the Cooking Collective was around uh, giving those people who sought protection in the UK and been granted refugee status the opp opportunity to uh, address a few different areas um, that we identified. And, and one of those was social isolation um, and around bringing uh, people together in a social, creating social connections for those people. Um, so reducing that sort of that sense of isolation, but also really looking about um, creating a more positive future for them. So looking at how to engage people and reconnect them to their, uh, maybe to their previous careers or aspiring them towards creating new um, career opportunities for themselves going forward. So employment and, and access to kind of that, that uh, idea of training was really crucial from our perspective. And I think uh, what the Cooking Collective did, there's a lot of learning during the four weeks and I think it was learning from everybody's perspective. But what we did certainly see by the end of the four week period was a real sense of togetherness, a real sense of supporting uh, the women, supporting each other, uh, that real fabulous connection um, that they, they established. Um, and also that so we started to kind of see some, uh, some creativity coming out about what, what they wanted to do going forward. Thinking about what other recipes they might try, how they might try and do something different with their own families as well, which is a crucial sort of element of that. How do you provide a good nourishing food for, for your own family? So hopefully that's had an impact that's spread beyond the participants as well. Um, so I think we kind of we, we achieved our objectives in a number of ways. And there's still a lot to, to learn, there's still a lot to develop, but I think it, it, it was quite impactful actually. Yeah. The feedback I got has been entirely positive. Um, the women seem to genuinely really love it and I love coming home after the classes and the WhatsApp group with sort of the photos and the messages, you know. This was good, we loved this bit of the meal, you know, um, sharing stories about the food that they came from and how something that we made today was similar to something that they made at home. It was um, really, really good. And I love the fact that by the end of it, by the final week, we were sharing stories about things that weren't just food. It was, you know, history and, you know, what the weather's like in their country and which bit, if I ever come to visit, which bit I should go and, go and see. So uh, for me, it was genuinely eye-opening and I loved it. When we get invited to a place like Mercato, it was absolutely fantastic, fantastic. We were given fresh pasta that was made then and there. How many people can say that I actually saw what I was eating being made one hour before?
it was absolutely delicious. They loved it. And to get gelato. <laughs> and they kept calling it ice cream. I said, don't call it ice cream, it's gelato. <laughs> I wish organizations like yourselves will spread it. These things, services for the community, is so needed. We are talking, I am talking about positive aging. Positive aging gives an older person a status.